Hello everybody and welcome back. So in today's video I'm going to be doing um a reborn um um how to make your reborn look realistic in a car seat. So my phone my phone is being weird. Okay, um sorry about the angle. I don't really can't get a good angle straight okay so um today um so yeah also sorry i haven't posted and i haven't been sending videos out um so i'm not going to be recording every day now um i thought i would but um i'm more busy now i have i have like a lot of responsibility like chores and stuff so i'm more busy with like online school and stuff so yeah um, I will not be recording every day, so I will just kind of record whenever I feel like it, but I will try and record at least um, once or twice a week, um, like two to three times a week. It depends on how much I am feeling on the recording. So, yeah. Anyway, without further ado, let's just get into this video. So the first thing that um, you need is, also this is so whenever you're like going out somewhere, this is how to make them look, like, look realistic when, like, you're going on a walk or something. Um, I might just carry the car seat all by itself, but at the same time, I'm probably going to use a stroller. I'm not sure. Um, and if I do that, then I'll probably, um, record putting her in the stroller. Anyway, so, here's my car seat. So, when you first sit your baby in and stuff, you want to move these back because... When you do it, it'll be harder to position them in. So, well, it depends on what you want to do. That's what I do. That's what most, like, people do. Um, anyway, here's my reborn. Also, so, first of all, just seeing it like this does not look realistic. Well, yes, she looks realistic, but it doesn't look nice. Like, she doesn't look really real. So, my baby is a very realistic type. Um, so, I don't have much things to make her look realistic as, because she's so realistic. Some people have a little, like, less realistic, but they're still realistic. Yeah, so, um, why did I just take her out? Okay. So, the first thing that you do is, also her outfit, so it is, you can kind of see... I don't wanna, really want to show outside. Okay, I'm not doing that. Okay. So it's sunny outside today. So we want to get her dressed into an outfit that will um, be sunny. Um, that would be appropriate for the weather. So just are appropriate for the weather. And I have this outfit called Just a Little Monkey Around. So I saw I'm so confused right now what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm gonna put her arms down. So and the first thing is when you have a car seat, you need to move them. Like you so something's wrong, you need to buckle them. Cause also like a car seat's practically them being safe. And Part of um, being realistic is they have to be buckled up because real babies are buckled up anytime they're just in a car seat. So, yeah. Also, I'll do that next. So, this is step two. And also, I have a juvie car seat, which is kind of like the size of a real car seat, but it's kind of not. It's a little small. But it's fine. I still like it. It's a nice car seat because it's like a miniature, it's like a little bit smaller type of a real baby car seat. Okay, so next thing you need to do is position the cloth, like so. You can kind of see what I'm doing right now already. Um, Positioning the cloth so it will like cover their neck because you want to make it look realistic. So you want to cover their cloth 
so they can't see it. But if you have a, a silicone, then you can just skip this step. Or you can make it, oh, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, there we go. This is a little bit of a shirt, so that's why it's not fitting that well. Oh, there we go. That looks cute. Okay, but so now you need to, I'm going to take this for her now, right now. So then you need to position them into a cute outfit, a cute way. So, um, this is how I positioned her yesterday when I went on a walk. So, her head is turned. And so, if you have an awake baby, then you want to make them look like they're awake. If they're asleep, then you want to make, look, make it look like they're asleep. So, I'm kind of going to tilt her head just a little bit. And my baby has, you can kind of see, darker lips because um, I put, gave her back to the painter, the person who painted her, and she and she um, repainted it, except it got a little darker because she couldn't find the same colors. Okay, so now, um, this is the next step. If they have like a really wide, wide mouth and stuff, and they're asleep, babies don't sleep with like wide mouths, they sleep with more closer mouths, so, and since her lips are darker, I like to add a pacifier to make it just look more realistic. So yeah. Okay, the next thing you need is, um, is, so, if it's like sunny outside, then you will want like a shade thing, but I'm not using a shade. Next thing you need is a um, is some toys. That's not a toy. But when you have a pacifier, if you're going on a walk and you don't want to lose the pacifier, then I would like clip it onto the side or something. Let's see, I'm clipping it right here, and then just hook it to their pacifier. Because I think real babies would have like a hooked pacifier to like the car seat or something or their shirt. Because their parents probably don't want their pacifiers to be lost. And they'll lose their pacifier. Okay. And then we're going to add the toys now. So it's a toy. So since she's kind of like sleeping, it looks like she fell asleep looking this direction. So I'm gonna, I've got this little monkey. It hooks on. It's like magnet, magnetic. Like that. And it's kind of just... In her positioning. So it looks like she was looking at that monkey. So yeah. And then you need just be then you can get some realistic baby toys. Um and just hook them on. They can play with it. If they're not playing with it, they can just set it to the side. Okay, so the last, well, the step to almost being last is a blanket. If it's a little colder outside, you can just do a thin blanket. Um, you can just grab it and like just put it like right on the side like that, over the side. But since it's sunny outside, um, I'm going to be doing this. Kind of like this, but I'm going to show you guys how to make it look like this without it falling off. So yeah, you go like that. And then kind of flip it in the inside. And you kind of make it flat just around the thing. Oh, the monkey's gone. I kind of made it hide. Also, this is just kind of how to make a little cover for your babies. And you can see this side. Um, also, you want to make this side longer, the inside part longer. And then, you can see there's a back piece, just like a back part right here. You want to kind of grab it and tuck it in underneath there. Now, it's hurting my leg. 
the bottom. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna get this probably around. Oh, it's not flopping over. You kind of just want to do with that with like. So you want to like go like this, and you can just get the sides and tuck them in. And also, I'm going on a, on a walk, and I don't like going on a walk when I this this time because there's a lot of people outside, and I don't I really like going on walks with a whole bunch of people outside because I don't know if you're gonna say something right now. Okay, and just. So I grab this. All right. So did I already leave that out? Like, what's going on over here? I'm getting confused. Sorry, this video is gonna be a little long. But you kind of just want to like roll this side up and just do that. Like tuck it into like the side, just like any sides practically. Okay, so now we got this way. I I'm flipped over. I went all the way on this side, so it's yeah like that. Okay. So then you would get this type of result. Which I am ha happy about. Well, sort of. Oh, this is a long video. The time passes so fast. Okay. And you can just leave it like that and then you can carry them like this. But I don't really like this way. That's just an example. But I have one thing. One last thing to show you guys. Here's this. Here's the umbrella. I did not want to use. <laughs> so you just grab it and you can you can put it in the insides or the insides. I would put it in the insides because and it doesn't matter. It went to a little stroller, so. Anyway, you can do that. And then you can, like, lay one over. But I'm just going to leave it like it is. If I don't ever feel comfortable. I'll probably just, sometimes I like to hear the press it like this. So, yeah. Do it whatever way. And if you just don't want to use this at all, then you can do this with my next step. The last, very last step. Yay! Um, is, so if you're just bringing a car seat, then you want to bring a diaper bag. Because if you're going somewhere, babies always have a diaper bag with them. Um... So, we just scoot her over to the side. We have our diaper bag. And in our diaper bag, we are going to put some wipes and a diaper. A diaper or two. Depends on how long you're going to leave. I'm not going to leave that far. And then a bib. A bib and a bottle of milk. I don't even know if I actually want to go on a walk. <laughs> um, and then I have this, which is her soother. In case if she doesn't want the one she's using now. Also, if she if you don't have a pacifier for her, you just don't want to use it. Let's bring her over here. You can just get it like this. Go like this. Drop it. And it'll kind of look like... 
she dropped it. But I would rather kind of just go like this or something. So I'll kind of position it. I don't want to do it like right underneath her armpit, so. Because <laughs> maybe she would usually like wiggle it because it would probably tickle them or something. And lastly, we have her teeter and her toy. A little rattle. In case she gets fussy. Okay. There's that. So, now I'm just going to use my... Where my backpack? Where the backpack? And with this. Or if you have like little clips or something, you can clip them onto the side. Like that. Or the binder clips or something. And then you can just carry it like this still. I don't know. You do you. You do you, girl. Okay. <laughs> um, also, if you have a younger baby, you can just roll up a blanket and put it around their head. Not exactly like that. But yeah. Anyway. I'm going to put this over her probably later okay i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video um if you did please like subscribe and comment down below what's your favorite part and if this was helpful well i don't whoa what the heck comment well i don't have comments on <laughs> sorry i just i don't know i don't know why i just said that I, i'm losing my mind um being inside all day um anyway I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and share with your friends. And give us a, give this video a like if you um, if you thought this was helpful or if you just like liked it. And just be like to be nice. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. And um, I will see you later. I will be recording a walk with a reborn. Um, so yeah, see you guys in a couple seconds. Bye!